Bailey has added more depth and defensive stability to the Brighton team, which has helped them to their most impressive start ever in Division 1. In goal, Perry Digweed plays his first game of the season. Graham Mosley damaged a leg in training earlier this week. Tony Grealish missed the ERA midweek World Cup match, but he's fit again after the rest. And this team will be looking to consolidate on last Saturday's point at West Brom. It's a significant day, too, for Jimmy Case, now playing so well for Brighton in midfield since his move from Liverpool earlier this season. By their own high standards, Liverpool have made a disappointing start. Curiously enough, the new three-point system has not worked in their favour, with draws at home costing them dear. But last Saturday, they beat Leeds well enough at Anfield, and today they're almost at full strength. Alan Hansen, fit again, returns to the defence. Ian Rush, with five goals in three matches, continues in attack. And this match sees the return of a former Albion favourite, Mark Lawrenson, who left Brighton for Liverpool in a deal worth £900,000 back in August. He starts the game today as substitute. Our referee this afternoon, Ken Salmon, from Barnes in Hertfordshire. And as the match gets underway, it's Brighton who are wearing the darker strip. That's the Royal Blue and Liverpool in their familiar all-red, attacking the goal on our left. That's a ball from Dalgleish to McDermott, cut out easily by Williams for Brighton. Andy Ritchie feeding Jimmy Case. And what a moment for Jimmy Case against his old team. Neil McNabb on the run through from the inside. That came off McNabb's heel and scooped away by McDermott for Liverpool. Bruce Grobelaar, the new Liverpool goalkeeper, and there's Steve Foster, the Brighton captain and centre-half, a man widely tipped for possible international honours in the near future. Long kick from Grobelaar, straight over everyone's head, and so it's a chance for Perry Digweed to uh, register his first touch of the match. Digweed, in fact, brought in very much at the last minute after Graham Mosley had suffered a nasty reaction to a skin graze he suffered in training earlier in the week. The leg was too sore, so... Digweed plays his first senior match of the season. Ray Kennedy, nice control from him. Just a bit too strong for Dalgleish. Liverpool a little fortunate to uh, get the corner from that, but I suppose so were Brighton just a moment ago in a similar situation. So it's a corner then, first of the match to Liverpool. Sammy Lee to take the corner for Liverpool. Driven in hard and the flick header from Dalgleish and it's in! Kenny Dalgleish has broken the duck which has lasted since November of last year. Sammy Lee's corner and Kenny Dalgleish with a real flick header which caught Perry Digweek completely by surprise makes it pay. The corner driven in hard from Sammy Lee. And Kenny Dalgleish, a powerful header. Digweed got there, couldn't hold it, and it rolled over the line. 1 0 to Liverpool. Richie trying to find Smith on that far side. The ball really bogging down on this very heavy pitch. McDermott for Liverpool. Phil Neal. Alan Kennedy, if they care to switch the play, is on this side completely unmarked. And I suspect that's where Kennedy will put it, and he does. So Kennedy now with a chance to put it in to Dalgleish, goes for the return. This is Kennedy. Oh, a terrible... Oh, what a mistake! Ray Kennedy latching on a terrible defensive error. A real comedy of errors, that one, in the Brighton defence. Ray Kennedy so professional on the spot to latch on to any mistake at the heart of the Brighton defence and sure enough he made them pay for that one there's the ball from Dalgleish there's Kennedy on the run into the box left foot, Foster missed it after that it came off Gatting, off the post and Kennedy said thank you Hansen switching it to Alan Kennedy Kennedy not having a bad game in the left back position he loves to attack, and he's getting plenty of scope for that this afternoon. Yet again, well into the opponent's heart. Sinus, nice ball in field to McDermott. Ray Kennedy and Sinus. This really is possession stuff. 
And Brighton at the moment really don't have much of an answer. Not a good header away by Foster, that's better. Shanks getting bogged down a little. Dalgleish chasing. Shanks under some pressure there. Foster coming to help the situation. And again, Liverpool pick up the pieces and keep the pressure on. That's Phil Neal. Phil Neal coming in on the rebound after the clearance by Williams. That's a ball from Williams, but surely far too far for any of the Brighton attackers. <laughs> and thankfully, I suppose, as far as Brighton are concerned, they've got a corner. Well, they were a little lucky there, I think. Bruce Grobelar even finding a smile from that one. As Ray Kennedy gave them a corner. And this is a chance for Brighton, perhaps, to pull something back from the first half, which has really had very little to offer for them. Jimmy Case to take the corner. Just a minute of this first half left. Casey's corner. Off the line again. The header coming in that time from Richie and Sammy Lee with the header off the line. Down by Thompson to McDermott. Phil Neal. Pushing it uh, forward and showing a bit too much of the ball to Gordon Smith. This is Smith with Richie on the inside. Richie there, but now alongside him. Curious shot from Smith, which uh, finally, more by luck than judgment, finishes up with Jimmy Case. Grealish's shot, competently held by Grobelar. First real bit of aggression we've seen from Tony Grealish. Grealish again, right in the thick of it. Switching it nicely to Shanks, who loses his footing at the absolutely the worst moment. Good bit of stopping by Steve Foster. Nice forward run from him, and certainly more determination about this from Brighton. Jimmy Case. Grobelar in the end, happy to just palm that one away. I thought he was going to catch it cleanly, but I think he misjudged the flight of the ball. And with Robinson just behind him, he did the only thing open to him, and that was palming it behind for another corner to Brighton. Neil McNabb coming over to take the corner. And Brighton pushing most people forward now. Everyone in the Liverpool half. Claimed it was over the line, and it's been given. Steve Foster getting the congratulations. McNabb's corner. The header certainly came down, and Steve Foster there delighted with the referee's decision. I think Liverpool were hoping that the referee would not give it. Foster's header there, coming down. Grobelar goes. It's hacked away, but the referee said it across the line. So while play is uh, temporarily in some sort of abeyance, Liverpool seem to have a few problems with Ray Kennedy having gone off the field. He's away on that far side, getting some sort of treatment. Not quite clear what it is. Mark Lawrenson is still wearing his tracksuit top and trousers, so presumably he's not coming back on. And for the moment, at least, Liverpool down to ten men. Steve Foster, fine example from him as skipper with that good firm header. And Kennedy now wanting to come back and rejoin the action, and the referee says no, you've got to wait. Richie, oh, that's a shame because that was the moment when Liverpool were vulnerable. If Richie had made that tell, and while play is uh, suspended, Ray Kennedy takes the opportunity of coming back onto the field, rejoining the action with a strap round his left ankle. And for the first time this afternoon, the crowd here at the Goldstone starting to wake up. Crowd absolutely drenched on a terrible afternoon. It's hardly stopped raining, but finally they've got something to shout about. Greenish underneath that one. Puts it back in, but Hansen firmly away. Foster. And the free kick going Liverpool's way. Neil McNabb losing his footing after the challenge from Ian Rush, and so it's going to be a free kick to Brighton. Some seven or eight yards into the Liverpool half, and Liverpool getting everyone back, and Brighton pushing everyone, bar Digweed, forward. Case to take the free kick. High towards Grobelar, and Grobelar dropping it! Once or twice, Bruce Grobelar's handling hasn't looked that good, certainly under high cross balls, and that was another example of it. Jimmy Case it was who took the free kick, high and curling in the wind, and Grobelar came out, looked as if he had it, and then, well, you can see what happened. 
Foster and Dalglish, and the referee said that was a foul on Kenny Dalglish. So, free kick to Liverpool, some eight or nine yards. End to the half. And the cheers go up around the Goldstone because the substitute, you can just see him there, Gary Stevens is starting to warm up on that far side. Guessing game, of course, is who's going to make way for him. Meanwhile, play goes on. And this is Terry McDermott. Right foot centre, way across Digweed. Foster just gets it away from the head of Dalgleish. But only as far as Ray Kennedy. And this is Alan Kennedy. Soonis. Kennedy in lots of space, and that's where he loves to be down that left-hand touchline. He puts it in right foot. McDermott's got time. Took a wicked deflection, I think, off Gatting, but it's in the back of the net, and it's 3-1. Well, Terry McDermott had lots of time and room. You can see the annoyance there on Terry Digweed's face. A little unlucky there in the way that it actually went into the net. Terry McDermott there, really making Brighton pay. Chance now to see the goal again. Ray Kennedy it was, right foot. Catching Brighton out, finding McDermott in lots of space. He hits the shot, just came off Gatting, but the goal will go to McDermott, and that's 3-1. And now it's Sunes to Neil. And again, it's possession play from Liverpool. Kennedy to Dalglish. Rush, looking to find his way through the middle of the defence, was Rush, and he couldn't get past Foster. Gordon Smith, Robinson on this left side, calling for it, and gets it. Robinson, who had such a good game for Era in midweek. McNabb to Shanks. Very forward, Don Shanks. Going on the overlap. Picks it up. He's got lots of space here if they can knock it back. Robinson's calling for it. What a great header! What a magnificent goal that was from Jimmy Case, and how he'll enjoy that. That really was an absolute scorcher of a goal from Jimmy Case, and how he'll love that against his old club. Well, the danger was there from the moment they played it into space. Shanks went on the overlap. Right foot, the centre came across. There's Case on the run, unmarked. Look at the power in the header, and Grobola was nowhere. 79 minutes of the match gone. Jimmy Case pulls one back for Brighton, and suddenly they're alive again at 3-2. Well, it's taken a few twists and turns of this game, and uh, we could yet be in for an even more dramatic finish. After thinking they were home and dry, Liverpool, they've suddenly got Brighton snapping at their tails. Just under ten minutes of the match to go, and that goal from Jimmy Case must have breathed new life into them. And certainly has put new life into the crowd. They've had to endure a terrible afternoon, raining most of the time, Standing, getting soaked to the skin, and they've seen some good play considering the appalling conditions. A free kick to Brighton for the push on Mike Robinson. And there's no doubt that if you come to the Goldstone ground these days, well, you see a lot of goals. 4-1 for the last home game against Manchester City, and we've got five again so far. Foster, Shanks... Andy Ritchie gets the equaliser and the crowd going absolutely berserk <laughs> 81 minutes of the game gone Andy Ritchie with his fifth goal of the season pulls it back to 3-3 and this could be we could be on the verge of a sensation there it is a little header from Ritchie, and it's 3-3. Injury time now in this match. That's Sammy Lee, and it's away by Steve Foster. And there's also away from Liverpool as far as the points are concerned, because it finishes 